Hi everybody and welcome to Grace Bakes. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to make my lavender and matcha tart. This recipe is totally vegan and I absolutely adore it. It's like my go-to sweet treat. So to get started what you want to do is make the lavender infusion. You'll need a quarter cup of dried lavender, half a cup of boiling water. Now set this to one side and cover it so that the steam kind of stays inside while you make the base for your tart. For the base, you'll need one cup of pitted dates or 175 grams. Tip it into your food processor, put the lid on and pulse the food processor to finally chop the dates. The dates are now chopped and you'll want to add your dry ingredients. You'll need one cup of almonds, half a cup of desiccated coconut, and a pinch of salt. Now put the lid back on and pulse until it's blended. So once that resembles a crumble type mixture, you'll want to add your wet ingredients. You'll be adding two tablespoons of melted coconut oil, as well as a splash of vanilla extract. Now put the lid back on, and pulse. Now grab a fluted flan tin with a loose bottom and you'll tip out the base into this and push it down and flatten it and bring it up around the sides. So take the lid off, let's see if this is done. Perfect. So what you want is when you grab a bit in your hand and you kind of push it together in a ball, it forms a ball. That's what you're looking for. So once it does that you know it's ready. Now take the blade out set to one side and pour this in here and just flatten with your fingers once you've pressed your base into the loose bottom flan tin place this into the freezer whilst we make the filling to make the filling you'll need a blender and the first thing you'll put in here is the water that you infused with the lavender. And in order to do that, I'm going to use a sieve. So simply pour the water into the food process of the blender, sorry. It smells so lovely. Now you're going to add all of the other ingredients. One and a quarter cup of cashews that have been soaked in water for about an hour and a half. Three tablespoons of sweetener. I like to use maple syrup. splash of vanilla extract, a pinch of salt, and now one tablespoon of matcha powder. If you're living in Turkey like I am, you can purchase matcha powder from Mele's Tea Company. I'll put their link below. It's a really good quality matcha tea. Now blend together until smooth. Then slowly add half a cup of coconut oil to the blender until it's light and creamy. So there you have it, it's all blended and it's super creamy and smooth. Now it's time to take the base out of the freezer and pour the filling into the base. Take the lid off and set to one side all that look. creamy and smooth almost looks like avocado in terms of color and just simply pour this into the base there you have it the filling is now in the base and it looks amazing so there you have it, my matcha and lavender tart. I hope you've enjoyed this recipe and for more recipes make sure you subscribe to my channel, the button will just be there, and give this video a thumbs up. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye!